Is the king ready yet? How long is he gonna make me wait? Shit. Another low fever. Did I rush my repair of the crystal? The mana fixation might have been a bit too shallow. Just a bit longer. His majesty will be here soon, so please mind your manners. I'm sick, I don't care. Thank you for coming today. You are the Swamp Witch, I presume? And that small soldier there is your familiar? Yeah, it's the Hundred Knight. Hmm, so you call it the Hundred Knight. It sounds like a strong name for what I am sure is a powerful familiar. Haven't we seen the blonde? That blonde boy? If we have, I do not remember him. Well, before all else, I must thank you. My daughter had been under your care for quite some time. Your daughter? I don't know who the hell that is. How ill-mannered to address his majesty with such language. At ease, children. This behavior is typical of a witch. Do not be so quick to anger. Regarding the open seat for the kingdom's appointed witch. There is something I must ask of you before I formally extend an invitation for you to fill that seat. Huh? You called me all this way and you want to waste my time with some test? Again with the rudeness. Do you not understand how you speak? Juden at ease. It is just as she says. I am indeed giving you a test to complete. Only I decide if I get to be tested. Perhaps you are not aware, but the seat of the kingdom's appointed witch is not a low-ranking position. It is a status created by the great witch Uruka giving it many generations of historical significance. Utica started it? I never heard that before. Of course not. No common witch is privy to such knowledge. Huh? Whatever. I'll listen to what you have to say. <clears throat> Rumored to be an evil spirit roaming the battlefield, is a witch who is scaring our people for reasons unknown. The earlier ruckus at our front gate is yet another example of that witch's desire to cause us trouble. We ask that you capture this witch. A witch pretending to be an evil spirit, huh? I see. <laughs> so you're asking a witch to go out and capture another witch? I am already aware the other witches do not think highly of you. Objectively speaking, you went berserk and created chaos and confusion during the Walpurgis nighttime soiree. Simply capturing a single witch surely poses little challenge to you. And if you are unable to stomach such a task, you are unfit to be this kingdom's appointed witch. You trying to crucify her or something? <coughs> Enough bullshit. We're going home, Hundred Knight. Halt! I will not allow this behavior. Excommunicating one or two witches like you from our kingdom is a simple feat. Enough, children. You're overreaching. I apologize. I asked for too much. Your power is rumored to rival that of Uruka. And I thought you would be able to complete this task due to your lack of a moral compass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could do this because it seems like you really don't give a shit about anything. <laughs> I mean, he's not that off the mark. If what I ask is impossible, so be it. I apologize for asking you all this way for nothing. Please rest and enjoy our fair city. Flattering me after threatening me. Seems like your king knows how to properly treat a witch. Very well. I'll hop on the wagon for a little bit. I just need to capture that witch, right? Ah, so you will do this for us. We are grateful. 
Thank you, and good luck. But why not make your precious Inquisitors do it? Which hunting is their thing, isn't it? As I said before, this is a test of sorts before formally welcoming you as our new appointed witch. Besides, Inquisitors answer to the Church, not their king. We do not have a witch hunting regiment. Ever since our kingdom's founding, we have stood side by side with witches. We do not deny them anything. Inquisitors capture any witches that threaten people's lives and help them to reform their ways. I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna sprinkle over like at least a, a pound and a half of salt on that statement. I, I don't know. If it were not a noble enough cause, I would never have entrusted my own daughter into their service. Huh? Metellia! Fisco! Why, Metellia? Why are you here? Huh? Why did I come here? I came here to ask you the same damn question. Why'd you run away without a single word? That's why I decided to come here and take you back, damn it. Take me back? Yeah! You... I see. I get it, but... To come all this way for me? Damn it. Princess, again with the filthy mouth, his majesty is right there! <laughs> Princess? <laughs> so you really are a dog princess. That again? But yes, I'm sorry for keeping it secret. Now's not the time for this, though. Father! I didn't talk to you about Metellia so you could bring her to our castle. But we cannot leave the appointed witch's seat empty forever. I understand that, but... But you didn't want me here, huh? What a bratty little princess. You be quiet for a second! Huh? Oh, I get it. You're scared that I actually might become the appointed witch for your kingdom. After all, my name and my skills are already pretty great witch-like. What? What are you saying? You are so full of yourself! Enough, Fisco. Settle down. Heavens, all of this in front of the king? I advise that you return to your chambers, princess. And you, Swamp Witch, please tend to the issue our king presented to you. F father please listen to me! Let's capture the witch hiding out in Shishite Battlefield. Capturing another witch? Isn't that kind of... Shut it. The kingdom approved of it. If anyone wants to complain, they can send a letter to the king. Hundred Knight. There were a lot of barriers on that battlefield that blocked my third eye's vision. And that uncomfortable feeling I got. Maybe the witch has a secret somewhere around there. Natalia immediately spins on her heels and exits. You aren't going back, Master? I need to research this place a bit. Besides, if I leave the weak-minded fools here to wander around, it'll affect my dignity as a witch. This weak-minded fool will be fine. I'll stay right by your side, Master. And Mani dipped back in the story again. Okay. Sorry to bother you again. Uh, sorry to bother you again, my best buddy, Honey Knight. Today, Master Leah intends to play, perform research in the capital. So she has called upon Master Mani to aid you. Geez, she just does whatever she wants. Theo works with poor fairies way too hard. 
But you heard the butler, Honey Knights. I'm here, so if you have any problem, just come crying to Monty. I'm always gonna support you. Unless you suddenly lose your will to keep plowing ahead, that is. Anyway, let's jump right on into our job of capturing the witch hiding somewhere in Tuesday Battlefield. Needless to say, you're going to be the one searching for her, Honey Knight. God. Mani was the one I was expecting to be maybe a key to the big bad. Again, sort of like thinking of the, uh, what did I see over here? Oh, that. Thinking similarly to the bravely default, don't trust the fairy. I don't know how to feel about her just jumping in and out of the story, but at least this time, Metallia called for her rather than her just quite literally barging through the window, breaking it, and then saying, I'm here now. She's only been a substitution role, true. But I guess I'm picking her, if only because I have a lack of suspects for what I assume to be a end-of-the-world plot that has not fully begun yet. It's being held by shoestring, uh, shoestrings and hope, but... Like... I expect there to be some kind of big bad plot going on. And the fact that we have seen either it's been so well hidden that nothing's going on, or <laughs> there's been nothing going on. We read the name of the evil big bad Galeria, and I forgot everything about it, I think, then. <laughs> if it was already revealed and I have nothing, then it's just my bad memory, making sure that I don't pick up the subtle hint. Or the name than the reference. Woohoo! I need more weed gum. Another pan fried fish plug. It's not going to be too bad. I'm always going to, I think, buy Fool's Rock for how good they are. I mainly mean that just because of how... I don't mean to do that. For how much I'm probably going to be using Alchemy. And we need to see credits in order to get the next one, so... We're not there yet. Hold on, no. New stream, new save, right? Of downtown Amataya as an unlocked area that is completely unexplored. Hold on, is it like an actual thing I could go into? Oh my god, bird, scout the world for me. I'm suddenly very scared that I could witch, domin uh, witch domination take over this whole place and there would be very big consequences for my actions. But there are shops. There are actually a handful of shops too. I think that's the whole place. Actually. Level 38. Cold Sweet Hammer X. Oops, I fail up to rank nine. I admit I kind of want that roll right there, but. That was a wait. I had for Princess Lance. That's like a what? At least a rare epic, right? Rank nine stuff here. Move, please, sir.
Okay, good. Now ruin, uh, ruin Jesus. Okay, all this often is best than something. And a fool's rock here. Actually, wait, that's not a shop, so there's nothing here that's gonna kick me out. And I think nothing to be found over here at all. see a, quite a number of houses here that we can just try and get. I'm going to leave them there for the moment, though, but Fight. worth noting that if I need some Fight. desperate amount of items, this is actually not a bad place to go. It still says 0% explored. Weird. Probably because that's not the actual place. And we need to, when we go back there, when the actual stage begins there, it will be like a proper place that we need to run around in. finally made it. Okay, Andre Knight, one warning. Capture the witch, but don't kill her. I'm sure you noticed this, but that so-called ghost you were making nice with before is actually a witch. If she tries to possess you or something, think about your master's angry face. You got that? How's it going, Jekyll? Welcome. Hey, Leah, I thought I was supposed to be Honey Knight's navigator today. I trusted you to watch over my house, but I'm, I'm the one giving them the orders. You better not overstep your bounds. Aw, oh, come on. You know how much I like scary and dangerous activities. Aren't you teasing me too much? Man, you're being annoying. Hunter Knight, I'm the one giving you orders. Now hurry up and search. Wait, never mind. You should uh, be fine for, uh, for now, but well, we'll see when the time comes. Get moving. Capture the witch. You need to go somewhere. Metal over there. All right, so just what is that? Hey! Oh, yeah, oui. oh boy. God, that deals so much damage just for. Oh God, I'm almost dead right here. were to be like level 35 and that thing can very easily kill me by hitting me three times it's like more dangerous than some bosses i feel especially when they swarm you Coming, um, it didn't run away. It was looking for me. For any witches that, um, that sur any witches that, that survived. I thought I had um, aimed for its weakness from inside the barrier. The assassination opportunity 
was waiting for a chance to strike. That wasn't wasn't me. I, I'm I'm not the hunter. It is. Why did I even think that I could win? I impossible. Avenging my friends. Impossible. I can't win. I can't. I'm scared. So scared. All alone. I I don't want to be all alone. I'm scared. I'm lonely. I don't like this. Huh. You found her pretty fast. Good job, Hunter Knight. Hurry up and... Surprised she can see us here. You came for me. I won't let you. Let you. I won't let you get away. Stay with me forever. Stop serving that, that witch. Be my friend. Uh, be with me forever and ever. Good night. Sounds like you got sucked into a pretty ridiculous situation. Almost lost contact with you again. That would be the end for you. Losing all that information and support. You'd be stuck there forever. Hey, you don't underestimate underestimate the value of my support, do you? Maybe you should learn how to respect your master. Anyway, where'd that witch go? We need to find that witch. Oh, this is a new area. the seats. First things first, then. Bird, find a wall. And then follow along it. Map out how big this area likely is. And, oh, wait. Is it just that map, but in reverse? Or, like... Oh, I don't think it'd be reverse. I mean, the map is called Reverse, but I don't know if it's like an upside down thing. Now it's called Bird of Pillar somewhere. Oh god! Actually, that might have broken. Hold on, let's see. Okay, no, it didn't. Good. I can, if I can still throw a boomerang, then we're fine. the walls find the bear find the edges of the map I feel like I shouldn't even be mapping this place out too much I, I can do that later and the only part of my brain telling me that is the part that's saying the more time I spend doing this the less time I'm gonna have to farm more items.
And that's just because I really want to dive into my rank 10 legendary gear. How's it going, Merle Goner? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Mapping 101. You the bird. Uh, is really the Tower of Greed. It's not greed. The Tower is not greed. If it was, we would know because we are clearly not greedy. No. Not this place is just like really dark. A bit more twisting and winding than I thought. I'm being honest. There's still a good amount of fortune right here, but. Oh god! Oh wow, they still hit hard. Oh man. Heard about the Nippon Ninja game, uh. Decatrice? I have not, actually. Angelo did? Oh, well. Well, he's got something for you then. I unfortunately did not hear about it whatsoever. Oh, rare staff. Nice. I feel like I shouldn't be exploring right now. I should just be rest of the story. But I also want to explore so I can find chests like this, but also any other pillars so we can teleport around the moment the game's telling us to... Go everywhere. How to explain. Do you know criminal girls? Not at all. What game is that? Is there anything to home in over there or no? It might be just a normal switch. Alright, damn it. Ah, oh, gotcha. For NIS, really, I'm gonna be honest. I mainly look, uh, look forward and keep tabs on Disgaea games. It's like the one thing I do. The channel and community pretty much love Disgaea, and I play them more than anything else. Not what she said. I'm lonely, so lonely. The voice fades. Speaker seems to have gone elsewhere. I can still go down though. Oh, all right. Just you have to like follow her. Gotcha. All right, bird. See what you can find for me. This is still a very big map. Part of me wants to just like, even if it's going to be boring, just wait and use the bird to map out every bit of it so I know where everything is. It's weird. I feel like Etching Odyssey imprinted on me a bit more than I thought it would. Map out everything. Have a complete map of, what you're, of where you're going to when you have to come back later. You can do better things. Even though I'm pretty sure in this game we're not exactly going to be revisiting older areas that much. Like, at the very least in the story, there's been, I think, only, what, two reasons to go back. Is the mapping. Maybe. Gotcha. Oh, well. Maybe the game just wasn't for, set for everyone. The name sounds familiar. What kind of enemy is that? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, hold on. Let me try. Creepers are coming at me. 
And because of the incline, it's eating up all my shots. Golem V2. We don't know if it's Golem V2, but... There's something else going on with these enemies. And I'm saying that because fireballs did nothing. But the poison one did. So there's some property there that I am unsure of. I can feel with a golem, nothing hurts it aside blunt. There's just no way around that. It's a hard mechanic of that enemy. But for that thing, poison damage worked. So like that's the that's the weird part. Immune to spread fireballs? That'd be an annoying thing to just like be immune to specifically, but not in Entirely impossible. Just like real kick in the dick moment. A couple of little areas there to go up to the upper floor here, but again, we're trying to map out as much of this area as we can. If not the entire interior, the entire edge of it. So at least we know what the boundaries of things are and we have an idea of where the game wants to go. Like right here. That story. So now follow the edge and around and we have an idea of how big this place is and what areas might have, say, a hidden item or two. Right about to run out. All right. Honestly, I would, I would laugh. I d might laugh as well, if only for the irony of it all, but... Poison orb homes in only while locked on. I get that's another benefit slash little thing about it. The fireballs will home in the moment they are near something. Okay, this one did not. Oh, it's one of these things. That's why. And no, but I just like could not get out of it. kind of thematically loving that it's only the Reapers here, but in another way, it is kind of scary. These things have one little weird property about them. They are melee unless they charge up for a range attack, but they also have this little thing of they walk up to you and then they can like within two seconds, it's a very instantaneous melee attack. Not that it happens in, like so quickly the moment they get near you, but the moments they wind up, it's a very short wind-up animation. Like what you think would be like a big wind-up for a slash is actually very quick for them. If we try to go off of these guys visually, you are going to end up getting hit. Nothing personnel, kids. 
<laughs> of course. Being alone is far worse than death. That is again not what she said. I'm scared. So scared. The voice fades. The speaker seems to have gone elsewhere. The odds are VA was locked down, but the script got a change and nobody updated a damn thing. Oh boy. Their enemy's right there. I could get slapped and shunted right back to my body. Or the upper area right here. I don't think it's actually up here for the story marker, but we've been in the lower area for quite a while, so let's see how really massive this area is. It feels like it. The addition of upper lower areas really does add a multiplier for how much there can. Apparently, it is up here. Shit. All right. Oh, because there's another way up here. All right. But yeah, that is where you need to go. Jesus, this place is big. I'm gonna wanna find another pillar pretty soon. I'm running low on G-Cals. Because I already know that eating the Reaper enemies does not give you much in terms of G-Cal return. Try though, just Jumping. to. Yeah, only 1.75. That's not worth the stomach space of just eating garbage. the sound, the pulse of a pillar very briefly right there. Come on. I feel like it's on the upper of this thing right here, but it might be an upper on the bottom one. My stamina is going to go down the drain. Oh boy. Fine. Just eat one of these. Okay, hold on. If it is going to be just majority match, then put one of these down. Yeah, even he's getting hit by those kinds of those kinds of attacks. So I feel like there's some ma just property about those hits at all. They're listed as hardly effective rather than they roll nice. Versus my fireballs that do not hurt him at all. They're invalid. Maybe it's not like that he's immune to magic; it's that he's immune to fire. There it is. 
I don't even think I've served great points once yet. So yeah. All right. Let's get 30 from this. Have the bird help us out here. Oh, the bird is the most G Cal efficient way to explore that this game has at the moment. Even if it is not as fast exploration. With 109, you can run, dump, jump, and like just immediately pick up stuff you find. But you're going to be burning g the entire time. And if you get hit, it's even worse. With this, you burn very little. And it's just rather painless. Wait, there's a beginning of text up here. There's a chest hidden right behind that. Yeah, it's more further than that. Sometimes here, it's just hard to see. I don't know if it's just me and my eyes being shit. So those things are more to the south. A burning G cows. It's a way to know like where you should be going to get some items. Yeah, even for that. Hammer A. Hold up. What? Oh, that's not given to me immediately, but. Or it's given to me immediately. What is that? It's a rank A slash hammer. Poisoned as well. All those A weapons are really strong. And it's just across. Yep, it's an alpha. I mean, that's an A. That counts as an A. that we map out as much as we can of the boundaries. If only because also, like, generally speaking, treasure chests and such are in these little corners right here on the map that do require extra exploration as even see. Just trying to find more and more reasons that my argument's valid here and my little habits. Really? I do wish the bird could run, though. I wish you could make the bird run or just even a little hop dash at the cost for more stamina. It would make it feel more... I don't know. I doubt interactive is the right word, but it's the one I'm going to latch onto at the moment of just... It feels more in control, maybe. I don't know. Because right now, it is just walking speed of 100 night, I think. early. Bert is strutting. He is in no rush, even if we are. 
completely broken mapping wide. I mean, in exchange for doing that for more stamina from the bird, I don't think it would be broken map wise. Because right now, what's stopping someone from just at the start not moving and using only the bird to map out? It'd be boring, but it would be just as effective, I feel. Everything from those kinds of chests is given to you. Okay, it's an epic, not a legendary. Five fifty-seven, five seventy-eight. You know what? Sure, we'll, we'll transfer to this one. It's technically a little bit more defense. You have more defense than attack. And you know what? We're doing fine. If we can outlive them, we'll win. Don't think about how many times we haven't outlived an attack. There's nothing actually there. So let's just head straight to it. I don't like this. I don't want to be alone. The voice fades. The speaker seems to have gone elsewhere. Oh my god, you're all the way over there. But that's probably down and move, and move around. Then I get more and more enticed by a magic build or a magic set, but it is just like normal weapon, spears, swords, and all that because they would hit fast. Ah, shit. Oh, that thing's probably not important, right? we go forward it's not immediately here but just a little around all right only to do to win is put their HP to zero you're not wrong all we need to do to win is win <laughs> strong magic power actually it's not that witch something else huh what are Goku? what are those they're not living here are they This is the one! 
The one with strong magic power. A dark witch. <laughs> I'm always underestimated. Fine. I'm willing to take the plunge. Either way, whatever we do here won't get leaked to the outside world. This pillar could make for an important strategic location, since it's so close to the capital. You should be able to handle this, Hundred Knight. There's no avoiding it, so fight! Snip this damn thing's freeze off! Alright then. Howard of. Oh god, that actually is kind of terrifying how it teleports around. Oh boy, that. Magic is not doing nearly as much as I want. are not doing nearly as much as I want. But then again, I think this thing is or maybe not immune. Incredibly resistant to magic. garbage. Oh, well. I have magic with the, what's it called, buff Tachka? Not entirely, no. Okay, so without g counts, I need to go out. We need to return to the world map, and then we're going to come back in. We're going to have no grade points, but we can try this still. For how goes Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 6? It's going all right. I made it to Gold Rank 2, but it's very iffy. Like, it's clear that people are starting to, like, in that rank, understand what they're doing with the game, understand how to capitalize on mistakes, and I keep making mistakes. It's clear that I understand fundamentals on how to do somewhat okay in a fight. I can be aggro when I need to be, but I just have bad judgment calls. Severely so. I want to be aggro and bad knowledge on what things the opponents can do that leave them in a better position than me. Which attacks are less recovery on block and they can capitalize on it if I try to do anything in retaliation. Let's uh, let's put the buff one. <laughs> Which I find it weird because there's no way to really know when you're within the buff range, right? There's nothing that like shows it clearly. And that's what kind of gets me about that. Hip it and then put this down. I'm 
scared by these things. I may try to all of this with the rage mode right here. With these things buff me on top of having this. The damage goes up substantially. That though is very dangerous. Damage looks like the output is big enough that it's just it outweighs a lot of things right there. That is not what I'm. We can go with that. No combo from that whatsoever. What the fuck? Persistent. Hundred Knight, as you are now, you can't finish the job. Yeah. Has this space grown unstable because of that fight? Then what are you standing around for? Get the hell out of there! Screw the witch! That's not our problem! Run as fast as you can, or else you'll get trapped there forever! to show up proves that thing wasn't fit to be the protector. Well, I guess the pillar would never show up if we just left it alone. Whatever. Come on, Hundred Knight. Make that pillar bloom real nice for me. Love that even in these cutscenes, whatever state the Hundred Knight is in, it's what we see him in at the end right there. Like, he still has the sparkling stuff over his head to show the rage or the other enhancement. A gorgeous blue. Now we just have to find the witch and capture her. Huh? Are you trying to tell me that the witch is trapped on the other side? <laughs> the witch is probably over here. Call it a witch's intuition. Well then, let's get searching. I'll be watching you. After all, properly guiding a familiar is a basic witch requirement. This is the same feeling I got from inside the capital city. And now it's gone. I thought it was that witch, but it's definitely not her. Nah. All we have to think about right now is finding and capturing that witch.
Huh. I'm kind of surprised, actually, that... I thought after a boss, there would be credits, and I'd be able to say, Fuck yeah, let's go into the tower, but apparently not. Not done yet. Yeah, apparently not. Damn it. I just want to get to the next chapter because I'm pretty sure after 10, either they're going to introduce rank 11 weapons or we're going to start being able to drop them uh, A weapons. The ground still shakes occasionally. I don't think you drop alpha weapons. Maybe not, but hey, we can try. I mean, I doubt they're going to let me drop rank 11 weapons. I don't feel like they would do that. This is for far tower fun. Gotcha. Hello. the evil spirit wandering the battlefield. You're a wanted witch, you know. Amataya has deemed you to be a dangerous witch that disturbs the peace. We're here to capture you. and values is meaningless. I promised I would capture you. That promise is what carries meaning. And I guess after you have your trial or whatever, everything will work out just fine. Uh, I won't go anywhere. I'm going to live with this child. You can't have it. It's mine now. Because... What? Gonna call out the dark again? Call out the dark? Uh, I don't understand. What do you? I, I did it. That 
damn monkey you had trapped in the hidden space earlier. The Dark Witch. It's like your alter ego, isn't it? The way I see it, you two are pretty much the same. No. It is my alter ego. Definitely not. To birth such a strong dark witch. What the hell happened to you? Fine, I get it. The dark part of you is sealed away. The entrance to that hidden space has been disabled, too. It's just my assumption, but I don't think it'll ever appear again. So forget about it already. Forget it? It? Not that it. Your past. Forget about your stupid past. If you do, you'll be completely free. You can go anywhere, do anything. The, but earlier, um, you said that you would capture me. Hm. I changed my mind about that. Do whatever you want. But let the Hundred Knight go. No! This child will live with me. Together, we... Shut up, I don't care. It belongs to me. Return it. If you want to let the dark consume you and take it from me by force, then I'll gladly be your opponent. I'm not as nice as that one, you see. No, I... I didn't mean to... Then give it back. It's mine. But then... I'll... Um... I'll be all alone again. Nobody said you'd never be able to see it again. I just said to return it. Huh? We can see each other? We can talk some more? If you want, I guess. Sure call. I don't care what you do. Really? Then uh, I'll come over and we can... Um, we can play. <laughs> See you later. <sighs> Finally done. I'll go back to the capital and make up some kind of excuse for you. Like, you were beyond saving and we had to kill you. Or something. But that doesn't guarantee that an Inquisitor won't come here to investigate. You should get out of here right away. I... I understand. Thank you. Um, so much. Wait. Here. This is a parting gift. With those nasty wounds, you wouldn't be able to run that fast if something happens. Yes. I sense... um... magic power? <laughs> of course. It's my ribbon. Wrap that around your wounds and it should help to treat them a bit. After all, my magic charms are far stronger than anything the weakling witches around here can make. Called Hundred Night. Uh, I'm Sabina. Lonely Sabina is uh, what 
they used to call me. But, but I'm not lonely anymore. So now, I'm not so lonely, Sabina. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Hundred Knight. Me of all people acting like that. Did I do the right thing? What the hell is this feeling? <coughs> A problem with the green crystal? But hardly any time has passed. Hmm? The crystal? I do love how the staff sticks through the hats so much. Huh? You? Why are you here? And the mouse is on the on the top. Nice. Oh, I see. Here to greet the kingdom's new appointed witch, and it's the leader of the witch party, no less. Appointed witch of Amataya. Within the kingdom lies countless spirits of evil witches. The animosity of its people are coalescing. Be careful. Huh? What are you trying to say? Is this a threat or something? I pray we can meet again. That was a waste of my time. Come on, let's go, Hundred Knight. Hundred Knight? Quit sleeping! Get the hell up! Oh, rude. Victory music to a black screen, I guess. And there we goes. <laughs> we got no experience from that whatsoever. Hi. Which is Iron Hammer is close, Master Hilda. Only a little more before we can lift our sister's curse. This is also due, to, uh, also due to your idea that we suggest the king invite that witch. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Please, stop. There's no greater joy for me than to be with service of you, Lord Heinz. But if we continue to meet in secret like this, I... Someone's come. Someone comes. Princess, hurry. Ugh, my body feels so heavy. I want to hurry up and get back to the swamp. You wouldn't happen to be the, the Kingdom of the Pointed Witch, would you? I am Heinz von Flausen. I am the highest ranking officer of the Church's the in, uh, Direct Inquisitors. Huh. So you're Visco's superior. That is correct. I heard that you helped Master Visco with the when she wandered into, into your swamp. As a representative of all Inquisitors, I give you our thanks. Hmm. That's what she told everyone. <laughs> anyway, this fool looks familiar. If you're all right with it, could we share a dance at the next ball? Ball? That uncomfortable stare again. What is this feeling? Toto Pepe! <gasps> Toto Pepe! Wait, weren't you one of the ones that survived with from the initial incursion to the swamp with Visco? Hmm. Oh, did I, did I interrupt? Toto Pepe. That issue progressing, uh, progressing is making leave in my hands. My full effort in the searching. I see. As you say, I'll leave it to you. Pardon, uh, pardon me, but I must be going. Hope we can meet again in the, at the ball. Yes, a witch, excusing us. <laughs> that probably looks Metallia up and down. Bows once and then leaves. 
Was that stare coming from him? Excuse me. The king is waiting for you. Please come this way. Belda. Hey. That bitch. Until nothing was left but ashes, and the wind took care of those. Shishite Battlefield will never have to deal with the rotten stench of that evil spirit again. The plan was to capture her alive, but if she was that evil of a witch, I suppose this outcome was inevitable. And if we are certain that she is dead, there is no possibility that we will be cursed as her act of revenge. Is that so? Whatever happened to your familiar? Huh? I went back to the swamp. Do you need it for something? If I call it, it'll come here right away. There's no problem. More importantly, how about giving me my test results, Teach? <laughs> ah, yes. I had forgotten. Swamp Witch? I would like to formally invite you to become Amataya Kingdom's officially appointed witch. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to accept! Pardon me, your majesty. Word has reached me that the vile spirit haunting the battlefield has been disposed of. I offer my congratulations. Indeed, all thanks to the efforts of our kingdom's appointed witch. The people will be able to rest easy when they hear this news. And regarding this announcement, how about we introduce our new witch at the ball celebrating our nation's founding? Hmm, a wonderful suggestion. That will provide a glorious debut for our kingdom's new witch, as well as a guarantee to our people for continued prosperity. Heinz, make the arrangements with Gildan. Understood. I'll finally be the same as Uruka. <coughs> Lady Witch, if you're not feeling well, perhaps you should retire for the day. Mind your own business. I'll rest when I want. Your Majesty, I do have one more thing I would like to report. Swamp really takes its toll on me. Damn. What an oversight to lose the green crystal. Where the hell did I drop it? And that stupid Visco hasn't shown herself since we last spoke. What's she up to? Why does she think I bothered to come here? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> it, it really hurt. <coughs> Italian fates where she stands. Is Master Leah all right? Perhaps we should attend to her. Maybe, but she's the one who ordered us to go back home. She said that before she starts her job as the kingdom's appointed witch, she has some preparations to make. I don't think we need to worry. But she has been away from the swamp for such a long time. I fear her health may begin to deteriorate. She seemed energetic to me. She was so excited when she was looking around the city. 
And she has the green crystal, so she said she'd be fine. I bet she'll be able to come back after they announce her position at the ball tomorrow. But then, what of the matter regarding Master Visco? Uh, oh yeah, that. But that issue seems kind of complicated too. Maybe our little apprentice is telling us how things stand? Nothing's happened, so maybe we shouldn't get so worked up. If anything did happen, I bet Jalea would come home even if she had to blow the whole palace sky high. Yes, but ever since this morning, my bottom left molar has been aching something fierce. On such occasions, it can be taken as a bad omen. Therefore... A magic message that has taken the form of a bird who's flying in through an open window. Case, Sir Hundred Knight. Sorry to ask so much of you, but please deliver some candied seeds to Master Leah in Amataya. Act 4, Chapter 10 The Witch and the Trial. We need to make them first, right? Not at all, Master Lucini. That step will be unnecessary. I figured such a day would come, so I went ahead and secretly candied ten years, er, one year's worth. Ten years worth. Uh, what? You have that many? Just the other day, I heard that they were all gone because Visco ate them. How addicted is Visco? That is precisely why I was instructed to create more after Visco left. Enough to burst that dog's stomach. To make her cringe and suffer. Those were my instructions, yes. <laughs> so it's premeditated murder. Um, Monty, they aren't poisoned. Now then, Sir Hundred Knight, please deliver these to Master Leo. Uchini takes one look at the massive pile of candy seeds and leaves. The Hundred Knight has a metric ton of candy seed shoved into its arms. Candy seeds have been acquired. Making sure they didn't like shove it into my stomach or something, but I take it as just an item, right? Candy seeds, yep. Key item, green seeds candied in rum and sugar, which is favorites. Alright. So. I'm sure some people might know what time it is. We saw credits. Indeed we did. And with pumpkin is loot. Blue stone is loot. Fool's rock is alchemy. Garbage is garbage junk. So all of that. Story time! Who am I kidding? You know what time it is! We saw credit. A chapter is done. That can only mean one thing. 